dear friends, hi there. Today we celebrate another Ash Wednesday in the context of COVID. We will not be able to gather to mark the start of Lent as we would like, and we will not be able to receive ashes as we would normally do. Nevertheless, I thought I'd invite you to spend just a few moments reflecting on the gospel that we hear today and to bring it to prayer. In today's gospel, we read, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your almsgiving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. In this beautiful and encouraging passage, the Lord tells us to give to the poor, but not to have it trumpeted before us. The Lord tells us to fast, but not to let anyone know about it. And the Lord calls us to pray, but He tells us to do so in our private room when we have shut the door and are alone with only God. By irony or providence, our present circumstances make all three of those things possible. They are all of them meant to be medicines for our sin and our waywardness, but we can achieve all three of them even within our COVID context. So, for example, consider giving alms online to Skiaf and to their wee box or to others who are working to lift poverty and suffering in our world. Make this a time of opportunity when we fast, not just for the sake of our figure, but for the sake of our soul, offering it up to God and letting it become a part of a better way of life in general. And spend some time in prayer. If you can find the time and the space, do it privately, as the Lord says, and your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. Now let us pray. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who begin Lent today. As they follow their Lenten observances, may they be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.